Hello, my beautiful Libras. Welcome to your horoscope forecast. And this is going to be for your weekly. This is going to be August 3rd to the 9th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkers.com, or check out the description box below. All right, my beautiful dogs, let's jump right in. So we're going to be looking at your day today your love interest films, the box plays and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to get to it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, what's going to have my Libra's romantic love life August 3rd to the 9th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's find out here. So we got August 3rd, August 4th. August 5th, August 6th, August 7th, August 8th, and August 9th. All right, so let me just straighten this out a little bit more for you guys. Let me see, I think my camera, all right, there we go. All right, that looks better. Move you over here, move you over here. Okay, great. Love, interest, feelings, blockage, delays, and challenges, and the overall outcome. The bottom of the deck, wow. Libra, there's somebody very with very strong heartache and sadness for you. Um, see, there's somebody that really wants to speak their truth to you about how much they want you, but they've been afraid to tell you. Seven of Swords energy. Okay, so let's move this over here for now. And let's look here at the blockages here. There's a person that looks like they are about to give up. Five of Swords energy. Like they're defeated. I don't know what to do. That kind of energy here. Okay, let's move this over here. Now, Libra, if the day to day is confusing at all, just stick with me till the end. I'm going to go over your love and your feelings, more into the blocks, delays, and challenges, and the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so we got this Empress card, which for the 3rd of August, it could show that there is somebody who finds you very attractive. Okay, Empress talks about a mother energy. This is the divine feminine abundance of love all right starting a family fertility those kinds of things let's see so you got options here with the seven of cups energy you um are not sure what you want to do though but somebody's watching you from afar they really really find you very attractive but they're confused how do i approach them uh, all right or somebody feels that you have a lot of options okay so What's going to have my Libra's romantic love life August 3rd to the 9th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. So I get the sense that you guys are going to get some form of communication here, which may cause you a state of confusion about this. All right, what's going to have my Libra's romantic love life August 3rd to the 9th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so actually this is going to be a sign for you guys, a profound sign that somebody find you know somebody finds you very attractive. Oh yeah, there's a lot of a lot of, definitely a lot of chemistry and passion here. Aries Sagittarius Leo energy you could be dealing with an Aries Sagittarius Leo energy. You're about to be really happy. Uh, four on the fourth here. This talks about going out, having a good time, lots of chemistry and passion here. Um, there may be a situation because there's another person, like a third wheel around this, that may make you feel like a little bit stuck in between the situation because of this coming to light about this attraction. Let's keep going. So you're at a crossroads of what, what to do. Two of Swords energy on the fifth. You're like, I could either go this way or I could go this way. So you're trying to figure out what direction to go into here. What decision to make. Because there's some indecisions here. Okay, so it's like, we're going out, we're having a good time. Okay, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. I'll tell you exactly what's going on here. 
I see why this is a difficult situation. It's because your, your friend is already kind of like into this person and uh, but there's an awareness that actually you guys are into each other and uh, and you're hanging out a lot <laughs> but it's like there's a uh, concern about moving forward and like keeping it hidden from the other person wow oh my goodness okay so so it's like a lot of silent stuff going on here like in the background Okay, let's keep going. All right, so there's someone definitely heavily thinking about you, have thoughts and plans, okay? Four of Swords energy. And going further. But we see I have to hide this. Seven of Swords energy. I can't be honest about this. This also could be the spying card too. I'm spying on you. I'm watching you from afar. I'm noticing you. Right, and seeing you, because even if you go to the bottom of the deck here, it's like this sense of uh, you're going to get some kind of clarity about this situation. Someone's concerned about being used, but we see there's so much potential here. Something is going to come to light, and okay, going further here, we got this four of wands energy. It shows that there's something about this house and home situation. And somebody who wants to kind of fix this, you know, give this some time till things come into balance. Like, it's like this concern about hurting this person. You may work with this person. Uh, we see money and finance around this situation. Yep, it's like, how do I clear the air? How do I tell them about this? Okay, let me tune it here on this situation. <sighs> yeah, I'm just like, I hear like, like a lot of fun energy. And it's like this person notices how you're dancing, you're moving, you're presenting yourself. Yeah, and they're admiring you a lot. But it's a difficult situation, obviously, because there's someone else around this. Okay, so let's, um, let's keep going here. Six of Swords shows a, on the 8th, you guys could be doing some kind of travel. Um, you could be overcoming some kind of obstacles, blockages in your romantic love life. There is an offer of love coming in, Ace of Cups energy, renewed love, new love, offer of love. And we see someone's trying to be very romantic with you. Um, there's a protective energy on letting this grow. Okay, so let's keep going. And I see that there's advice being gotten here with the Queen of Pentacles energy about this desire, this willpower, about this victory. And it's possibly like a small meeting of a group of people. It's like someone, you're trying to get someone's support about this. Okay, so you get some kind of signs, something comes to light, you're thinking about the situation, there's this huge potential, you wanna clear the air, but you don't wanna hurt someone here. Um, and someone, you're trying to get someone's, uh, someone else's support to kind of figure out how to deal with this situation. Okay. So how does your love interest feel about you? Well, they may, they may feel that you're the twin flame for them and that they want to end a tough cycle here and that they want to communicate with you about the fact that they feel stuck in the middle of a situation and that they want to make this decision and they are kind of getting impulsive about it. They want to have, um, they want to give you a message you've been waiting for when the timing is right to heal and fix this situation. This person wants a new beginning and a fresh start and feels like the toughest part of this is over. And that they're, they know this started out in an unusual situation or a way, but they're like, they feel like there's a path to success when it comes to you. So we got this defeated energy with the five of swords and we see that there is the lying and deceptions, right? Sneaky slide behaviors, right? Um, 
and we see Knight of Wands, like this chemistry, this passion, or even this person may be defeated because they want to kind of come forward in that way, okay? Yeah, we see abundance of love coming in for you guys. So let's see the overall understanding here, what's going on this week. So you got an opportunity that's presenting itself, Ace of Wands, right? Um, there is a concern about someone being single and available to pursue or self-focus or an isolation or separation. So there's a juggling about this decision. What should I do? I gotta make this heavy decision here. So just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce, Something has to be accomplished first, world card energy, for there to be romantic actions to be taken. We see there's a lot of hopeful signs here. We see there's somebody that's giving advice about this other person. And there's a want to reveal this truth about the potential between you and this person because you spend a lot of time together or there's definitely a, a, a love connection here with you and this person. So let's sum it up as overall energy. So it looks to me like you and uh, there's three people involved. There is somebody that is feeling you, you're feeling them. Uh, however, there's a complexity because there's a friend around this. And um, so you feel caught in the middle of this situation because you do have feelings for them and they have feelings for you, but it's kind of like a lot of sneaking around. Like there's, I don't feel like you guys have really gone there yet, but it's like there's an awareness that, yeah, we, you're both feeling each other. but. It's like you're trying to get someone's advice about how do I break it to this person uh, to be able to move forward with this person that I want to be with and the person that wants to be with me. All right, so that's what's going on here. So let's get you guys some advice. Can I ask advice my Libras when it comes to their romantic love life for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them? What should they do? Show me the cards they need to see. Show me the cards they need to see okay focus on your vision and seek satisfaction and contentment manifest your dream so it's saying assert your personal power that spread your hope and joy illuminate the world so it's definitely talking about bringing this to light okay uh, open your heart and spread unconditional love so be in a place of love okay all right open your heart Listen to your heart. And you gotta be a spiritual warrior and stand your ground. Cause it's not really fair, also it's not really fair to this person if they're thinking, okay, well, I, kn I know it's, it's a complex situation, but it's, if both of you guys are feeling each other and this person's thinking, oh, we got this big old future together and stuff like that, and it's better to, to to deal with this now before it goes further. But that's just my opinion, guys. You don't have to take my advice if you don't want to, of course. It looks like you're, you're getting some allies to help you with this uh, on the ninth. All right, my beautiful Libras, follow your heart, listen to your intuition. You guys know what's best for you. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.